This radio mystery theater presents... and death often turn on small, almost insignificant events, a neglected appointment, an accidental meeting, the postponed date, a flat tire, a shortcut through a dark alley. Oh yes, the almost overlooked minor items that mark the destiny of so many. For instance, Skip Turner never dreamed that a walk on a clear, cool night could lead to a frightening confrontation. The play acting is over. You will give me the sacred rope, or I will kill you right here. Skip. Slowly, Sal, he's bluffing. You will place the necklace in my hands. Now. If I had the necklace, I wouldn't have it on me, right? I'd have it stashed. So if you knock me off, you'll never get your hands on it. Mr. Turner, kidding you will give me much pleasure. Kidding anyone is pleasurable. The Angry God was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Saul Panis and stars Larry Haynes and E.D. Juster. I suppose you could say it starts and ends in today's Greece, a land of brooding mountains and a history that reaches back thousands of years before Christ. But this is not what brought Skip Turner to Greece from the United States. Likeable, soft-spoken Skip Turner, who wears his clothes with the casual air of someone born to wealth, is the kind of person who makes friends just like that. You'd never know that he's one of the world's most skillful jewel thieves. And right now, on this street in Athens, Skip Turner is moving faster than usual because he made a mistake. A bad mistake. How stupid can you get? Look at the damn amateur. The alarm, it was right there. Now what? A cab? No, no, no. Driver could remember. I can walk back to the hotel. Maybe that... Oh, oh, oh. 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's my, my fault. Uh, hey, hey, you speak English. Oh, so do you. Yeah, ever since I was a kid. You know, I, I wonder what got to be so crazy. Uh, it, it's uh, probably a traffic accident. No, I don't think so. Look, huh? up at the corner. Hardly an accident. Oh, that looks like regular troops and police, too. I've learned to mind my own business, especially when I'm in somebody else's country. Yeah. They're sealing off the block. Lining up on the other corner, too. Yeah. yeah they're blocking off the whole area. Wow. What do you make of it, Mr... Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Skip Turner. <laughs> Valerie Parker. Right. Yeah, it looks like, uh, they're searching everybody. Maybe a check on passports or identification papers. I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't look routine. Well, I suppose it's not our concern, but... Uh... Oh, dude, we're ready to leave. You made it just in time, Mr. Turner. I did? Oh, yes, the tour. What? The Delphi tour. We're about to leave. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Follow me. Uh, but I, I don't have Let a... me handle the delicate negotiations. You speak Greek? Well, the tour lady speaks English. And he's male. Oh, he speaks my language. Gee, I don't know how to thank you, Miss Parker. Four more. Val's a lot better. And I'm Skip, okay? Okay. Uh, when do we get going? Mm, soon, I hope. We should have left 15 minutes ago. Yeah, they've uh, still got the barrier at the corner. Oh, I wonder what they're looking for. Or whom. Yeah, uh, what, what, what do you do? I'm a photographer. No kidding. Mm-hmm, no kidding. I've been a freelancer for more than five years. Oh, haven't you ever seen my credits? Photos by Val Parker? Well, I promise I'll be looking from now on. <laughs> Skip, did you bring your lunch along? What? We're supposed to make a stop before we get to Delphi. Oh, that sure looks like lunch. Sandwiches? Uh... I, I don't follow you. I, I don't have any food. Well, then, what's that bulge in your jacket? Huh? Are you packing the gun? Oh, oh, you mean this? 
Oh, no, no, no. That's just a fat wallet. My passport, health card, traveler's check. Oh, you must think I'm naive. I've been around. I know the bulge of a rod when I see one. No, no, no. I swear. That's a, that's a sucker play, especially in a foreign country. Hey, come on now. You're putting me on. <laughs> you know what's really funny? A respectable American in his late 30s or early 40s. Well, thanks for the early 40s. And here you're talking like a character out of a TV show. Well, I, I like a joke like anybody, only there's a time and a place for that kind of a joke. I suppose somebody who hasn't got a good sense of humor heard you and took it seriously. You know, I can see myself busted in the Greek jail. All oh, right. What's really in that breast pocket, huh? Well, if you really have to know, it's a bottle of nitroglycerin. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention if you please. Who's that? It's me. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Colonel Poulos of the Athens Police. I wish to beg your pardon for the delay you have suffered because of this uh, emergency. But now I have given permission for this voice to proceed. Uh, uh, it's about time. Colonel. A young lady? Yes, please. Uh, can you tell us why you've deployed so many police and soldiers? Or is it a secret? Yeah, why'd you do that for? I want to There know. has been a rather daring robbery nearby at the home of one of our leading citizens. Only one item was removed indicating that the burglar knew exactly what he was after. Or she. I do not rule out the possibility of a woman. I suppose it's valuable. Exceedingly. It was one of our most important treasures from the ancient days of Greece. In fact, it was to be given to the government in the near future. But we will catch the thief. The entire area is sealed off. He or she is uh, trapped. Well, then, why are you allowing us to go on? Well, you are all American tourists with a legitimate reason for being here on this bus. So the barricades will be put aside for you. Uh, I trust you'll enjoy your trip to Delphi. Uh, just between us, uh, what's so special about this Delphi place? Well, the possibilities in Delphi is supposed to be fantastic. Spectacular mountains, unusual ruins, and, of course, the Oracle. the colonel was telling us about the burglary. You look like you were sitting through a movie you'd already seen a dozen times. What's the big deal? Diamond necklaces have been stolen before. Uh, how, how do you know it's a diamond necklace? Well, the, the, the colonel, he said so. Well, I don't think he did. I'm sure he didn't. Well, he, he said it was worth plenty, right? So uh, I figured diamonds. Uh-huh. Are you satisfied? No. Well, what's bugging you? You also said it was a necklace. A diamond necklace. What if it turns out that what the police are looking for is a diamond necklace? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the comfort stop. We will be here for 20 minutes precisely. Are you getting out? Uh, no, I guess not. Oh, not even to stretch your legs? Well, I wasn't going to, but okay. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Here, Han. Hey, mm. how about that? That's a, it's a helicopter, so what? Well, I think it's coming in here. Yeah, yeah, could be. It is. It looks like it's going to land in the parking lot. Oh, it's a police helicopter. Police? Oh, I think so, right on the side. Not exactly like the English, but close enough. Find out what's up. Well, anyway, we're the only ones left in the box. Uh, listen, I'll tell you what. You go ahead. I'll be out as soon as I put on a sweater. A sweater? In this heat? Well, yeah. We'll, we'll be uh, heading into mountain country soon. Yeah, see, you can see them from here. But you can wait till we get... Oh, I'm sorry. It's none of my business how you dress. Excuse it, huh? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, join you in a minute. I wish to beg your pardon for this intrusion, but these two police officers, my assistants, will look through your bus. We'll take only a small amount of time and will not interrupt your schedule. Uh, Colonel? Ah, ah, yes, yes. The same young lady as in Athens, I believe. Mm, yes, Valerie Parker. I have a question. Please. We're under suspicion, aren't we? The way you say it, Miss Parker, is uh, a little harsh. Oh, well, what else would you call it, then? Well, as you may have guessed, Despite the tight security we placed on the district where the burglary occurred, we have not yet found the guilty person. Then the thought came to me. The net was closed tight. Except, except 
for this bus. You're saying you think someone on the bus did it? It is only possible that the guilty one is among you. Oh, your thief is probably back in Athens. You seem so certain. How do you know? Well, I don't. But if... Well, for instance, if, if I had stolen whatever it is that was stolen... A necklace. Very rare. Uh, a diamond necklace? Some of the largest and most brilliantly cut diamonds in the world. It is known as the sacred rope. Yes. I saw a two-page color spread in a magazine just a little while ago. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. If, uh, Colonel, if the person who took it is on this bus, he or she would have the necklace along, right? Possibly. Well, it would have to be. The necklace could have been dropped somewhere near the scene of the robbery. Well, did the thief have the time to do that? After all, you guys got there pretty fast. Oh, you have good thinking. Ah, ah, my men return. And from their sad faces, I can already see they have found nothing. However, they will now pass among you and collect your passports. But why? Simply a matter of form. They will be returned to you tomorrow in Delphi. I hate to be without my pass. Skip, what's wrong? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you look kind of funny all of a sudden. Well, uh, must be the fun. It uh, kind of bleaches me out. I'm okay. They're coming out for the passport. Here you are. Charisto? Yeah, and mine. Charisto? Oh, you are a tricky one. Uh, what now? I thought you said you were going to put on a sweater. Oh, well, uh, you see, I thought it over and I decided... I decided you were right. It is too warm. If I didn't know better, I think you'd wanted an excuse to get rid of me. For what reason, I can only guess, but... It must have been something tricky, at the very least... You see? Here, let me... No, no, no. no. It's easier for me. There. Yeah, I got it. Oh, wrappers and chewing gum. And there's, there's more on your sleeve. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my gum. I, uh, I was in a hurry to get to you, so I just dropped the wrappers. I'm sloppy. Hmm. No sweater? Then you chew a whole pack of gum? I don't get it. I, uh... Like gum. That's all there is to it. What's the big mystery? Well, you weren't chewing gum when you joined me. Wasn't I? Well, Skip, there, there were five empty wrappers. So what? <laughs> that would have made a wad big enough to puff out your cheeks, and I'd have noticed that. You know, you remind me of my mother. She always figured I was doing something I shouldn't. And I don't think you have a sweater in that bag. I don't? No. Are you, uh, going to tell the colonel that I don't have a sweater? I think you know what's bothering me. Are you sure you don't want to change your seat? What for? Well, who wants to sit next to uh, to a thief? Oh, I never said that. You know, when the colonel showed up back in Athens and mentioned the robbery, and then I said something about diamonds, you were convinced I was the guy they're looking for, right? Well, you have to admit that it looked kind of... Yeah, I admit nothing. And then the bit with the seat. What do you think I am, a dum-dum? You figured I wanted to stay in the bus to hide the loot. And the gum. What was I going to use the gum for? If you're going to be a schlock home, be a good one. How do you figure the gum bit? Well, that was the cleverest part of your scheme. I, I mean, it, it, it was a scheme. You take the necklace and you hide it. And, well, let's see. Under one of these two seats. Yeah. That's it. Uh -huh. And you chew up a whole lot of gum. Five pieces. And then you use that to hold the necklace in place. I see. Mm-hmm. You'd still like to see if there's anything under my seat? Of course not. I know you're... This... That I'm innocent. Yes. Yeah, but you'd like to check it out anyway, right? After all, you don't know me. We, we met only a couple of hours ago. Well, only if you won't get mad. <laughs> Go ahead, though. No. I, I know there's nothing there. How do you know? Well, Come on, let's settle this. Go ahead. Well, if it was there, you would... How do you know I'm not bluffing? Like in a poker game. Come What? I... I just thought... What if... If it is there... What do I do then? You mean, what do I do then? What do I do to you?
When I was a boy, I was taught never to threaten unless I was prepared to carry out the threat. In the Old West, it was good advice not to draw a gun unless you meant to use it. Or, as it was put by a most literate man a long time ago, if you cannot bite, never show your teeth. Suspicion is a monster that feeds upon itself, as Val Parker is discovering on the way to Delphi. An intellectual pursuit of a problem has just turned into something of a different character. In fact, what seemed to be a harmless puzzle is almost at the point of solution. And with a solution, there is also a not-so-subtle threat. You don't mean what you said. You you wouldn't... Oh, yes, I would. Yes, I can. Uh-huh. If I reach under your seat and find what I think I may find, then... But there are 52 other people on this bus. Well, we'll be getting off in Delphi, and then... Come on, that's a good act, but... Yeah? I don't believe you. Try me. Oh, Skip, I... I, I I've got to know. You, you, you must admit everything points to you. And look, e- even if you did take the necklace... I'd never believe you're simply a crook, an ordinary crook. I, I won't tell a soul. It, it, it's just a matter of satisfying my curiosity. Okay. I'll take you at your word, curiosity. So go on, see if the necklace is under the seat held there by chewing gum. Go ahead, it's okay. All right. Here I go. Hmm, so far, nothing. Oh, wait. Find it? Here. I don't know why the police couldn't find it. How do you know it was here? Oh, well, look. Look, it hit my finger. Yeah, dirty. Look again. You see? Oh, dirty gum. So what? Well, it proves my point. You had the necklace under your seat. It only proves you're colorblind. Colorblind? Sure, look at that gum. It's the red kind. Red, thou. I don't... Oh, yeah... Darn it. Yeah. The gum wrappers you found were from the regular kind. I feel like an idiot. Naturally. <laughs> you were leading me on. Why not? You were so very sure. Chewing gum. The whole pack. Five pieces. You said you swallowed it. Oh, I love that gum. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. Now, what happened to the gum? I thought it was under the seat. And it's not. It has to be somewhere else. Where the gum is, so is the necklace. I, I'm, I'm willing to bet on my theory. Well, I'll bet on your life that you'll never get a chance to find out. Hey, cut it out, whoever you are. Put that light out. Stop shining it right in my eye. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank you, Skip. What are you doing in the hotel parking lot, anyway? Well, I might ask you the same question. Why the flashlight? Are you looking for something? Now, there you go again. I just thought I'd take a walk around. Hmm, nothing like a parking lot, is there? And what about you? Well, I'm looking for some picture possibilities. In the dark? If you look over there, you can just make out some columns against the sky, you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the place? Hmm, the Temple of Apollo. Oh, isn't that something? You know, you're all wound up. For a photographer, this whole country's like a kid in a candy store. How come you're not over there right now? Or don't you have any, uh, you know, uh... Job light? Yeah. Mm. I'm loaded with all kinds of equipment for day and night. Right here in this flight bag. But I wouldn't want to be out over there alone in the dark. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That's kid stuff. Well, I suppose you like it black as pitch. Now, what does that mean? Nothing. You sense again? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you gonna hang around out here? Hmm, so pleasant. Smell that mountain air. Yeah, well, so long. You're not gonna leave me out here alone. Well, you were here first. So well, long. that's true. Oh, who's that? Relax. Hello? Lady? 
Gentlemen. Uh, it's the guide. Uh, what's his name? George. Yeah. Hi, George. Oh, uh, I have no wish to interfere. With what? I came to take the bus to the village. Have a very pleasant evening. Uh, take it where? I thought this was our bus for this tour. No need to get excited over a bus. Oh, our bus is covered with dust from many kilometers from Athens. I clean so it shines like everything. Well, why don't you clean it here? Uh, impossible. But in Arjova, water in holes. No water in holes in Delphi. Yeah, well, I'm going with you. No, 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 no. Th- that is not for me. Well, the devil with your regulations. Now, look, I'll help you wash the bus. How's that? I, I-, I wash and you put water on with the hose, okay? Me too. Women's rights. I can wash too. If lady and gentleman make big promise not to talk. No, mm-hmm. don't, don't mm-hmm. let it worry you, George. Nobody will ever know anything about it. What's this all about, Skip? Okay, I've got to trust you. You guessed right about the whole bit and the gum. Uh-huh. The necklace is under the right fender, so this bus must not get to the village. Understand? No. Hold on. Hmm? What do you think I am? What are you blabbing about? He's an innocent bystander. But the guide? Yes. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, no. Follow my lead, will you? Now, you get sick, Val, okay? A pain in the stomach, anything. I must be crazy to even think about helping you. A peak face. Oh! What is it? Oh, no, no. no. Val, Val, just lie down, huh? Uh, George? 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 Hey, hey, stop. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. What's his matter? George, the lady, she she feels sick, understand? Sick, sick. There is a doctor in the village, Arakova. No, I don't think she needs a doctor. Uh, I'll step outside and see if I can't flag down a car and get her back to the hotel. I'll take her back to the hotel in bus. No, no, no. Uh, A car would be faster on these roads, George. It'll only take a few moments. You stay with her and uh, open the door for me, will you? George. Yes. Dear no lady, man say he come back soon. He go try to stop the car. Oh, I'm glad you're with me. Uh, thank you. Yes. Boy, I yes. think I, 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 I'm feeling a little better. There's not a car in sight. Hey, you look a lot better. Oh, that color's coming back in your cheeks. Oh, it was a sharp pain, but it's gone now. Good. It's happened to me before. It, it could have been the excitement coming here and all that. Yeah, 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 sure, that's it. Uh, listen, Val, do you think, uh, do you think you can walk? We aren't too far from the hotel. Oh, of course I can. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay. Here, let me take your arm. Right. Uh, oh, uh, George, I'm sorry, but we can't wash the bus with you. Uh, too nice an evening. The stars are out, you see, and, uh, Val and I want to be alone, don't we, Val? You were great. <laughs> I was rather convincing, wasn't I? Yeah. You had the necklace? Uh-huh. May I see it? Uh, you better not. Why'd you do it, Skip? Because they said it couldn't be done. Who said? Oh, well, never mind. What do you do with it? it it's so well known that nobody will buy it. <gasps> what? Do you realize I'm an accessory now? No, no, no. You're in the clear. I forced you. That's the story in case... Hey, move over. The car's coming Can't a car stop without you getting... Well, I don't like it. So, somebody got out of the car. It's coming this way. He probably thinks we need help. Come on, we got to get out of here. What? Come on, move it. Oh, wait a second. What? Here's the shrine. Yeah, well, what's this here in the back? The holy picture, an icon. Yeah, it'll fit right behind it. Okay, stop praying. Pray, pray, pray Val. Okay. Put your head down. I, I don't know what you... for a walk. You're seeing monsters. Yeah, that could be, but don't stop what you're doing. Just make it look good. Good evening. I am Dimitri. Hi. Uh, can't see you. I am over here. I will come closer. Please. No sudden move. Now, why would I... Oh. Oh, now I see you. Do you like our country, Mr. Turner? Hey, how do you know my name? I ask you a question. Yeah, it's a great place, great. Would you like to die here? 
What can easily be arranged? Hey, now that's no way. Then understand this. I want it now. Uh, look, look, I, I, uh, I got a few bucks in uh, traveler's checks and some drachmas too, and uh, the whole thing doesn't matter. I am not to... a petty thief. Who is the woman? Why, she's on the tour, uh, Miss Parker. Uh, Val, this is uh, Demetria. You have quite a reputation, Mr. Donner. When the sacred roof was reported stolen, it was an easy matter to discover who might have it. But of course, you must have calculated that such would be the case, is it not so? Well, I, uh, I heard that somebody lifted it. Rest assured that by now, Colonel Poulos has received information from Interpol and is probably looking for you, too. Now, you will give me this sacred rope, or I will kill you here and now. All right, now, hold it a second, and will you? naturally, when I kill you, the young lady cannot be allowed to exist as a witness. Ah, oh, he's bluffing. You will place the necklace in my hand now. If, I say if, I had the necklace, I wouldn't have it on me, right? I'd have it stashed. So if you knock me off, you'll never get your hands on it. Once again, this is not a motion picture. Such a speech means nothing. And Mr. Turner, killing you will give me much pleasure. <laughs> killing anyone is pleasurable. Give it to him. Please, Skip. As ah, soon as he got it in his clammy hands, we're dead. That bag. You would open it. It's mine. Open it. You. Put the light on the bag. Good. Yeah. Cameras, hmm? What is that? A strobe light attachment, mostly for nighttime photography. You just press this button, like this, and this, and this. My eyes! I, I am blind. My, my eyes! Run, Val. Uh, this way, up the hill. Uh, Awake. Uh, the necklace. Oh, lady. You'll be able to see in a minute, and he has the gun. I'll have it in a second. You start climbing, and I'll... Okay, I got it. Now, hold on. Right, let's go. Run like the dog. Uh, He'll follow us. Rest assured. Don't stop. He's shooting blind. He can't see us. It's too dark. Oh, that was... Here, yeah, take my hand. Okay. Now we've got to get to the top to stand any kind of a chance. Oh. You hear him? No, not yet, but he'll come. Oh, you're so damn stubborn. Give him the necklace. It's our lives. Don't you understand? He'll put a bullet in the back of our heads anyway. building over there, that little place with the columns about the only thing around here that wasn't knocked flat. Oh, I'm afraid. I want to stay with you. No, you're tired. You can't climb. Now, you get inside that place and don't hardly breathe. And I'll lead him away, okay? I might even get a chance to get at him with a rock or something. Oh, stay with me. You head for that building. Oh, that must be the treasury of the Athenians. It was built as a tribute to a bar. Well, that information is a big help right now. Now, go on. And remember, not a squeak. Goodbye, Skip. Yeah, I'll move over here. Away so I can see you Get inside, and then I'll start to the top. Skip! Skip! Answer me! Skip! Where are you? There is something palpably ominous when darkness casts a veil over an ancient ruin. It is so easy to imagine almost anything and whatever your fertile imagination creates could be horribly real. In just a moment, we'll show how real. When I return with Act Three. Is something improbable because it has never happened to you? Do you doubt that men have walked in space? and set new tracks upon the dusty surface of the moon? Does your mind reject the gods of ancient Greece who sat atop the fog-shrouded mountain of Olympus and played with human fates as a child plays with his toys? Then you have company, for Skip Turner is one of you. Give me your hand, Mr. Turner. Oh, where? I regret your fall. The entrance to the sanctuary was left open by mistake. And you fell. 
I, I don't see anything. There's nothing. This stone is now back in its place. My name. You know my name. When you fell, you did not move. Unconscious. I discovered you had not broken anything but the torch you carried. Uh, your name was on a card in your pocket. This room, you... Uh, you called it a sanctuary. Of the priestess, Pythia. It is here that she received the words of the god, Apollo. Uh, on the bus, coming up, I was reading that they never found the room where... Officially, they have not. My father is a scholar of the ancients and intends to reveal this chamber when we have concluded our research. Oh, how rude of me. I am Pythia. But, but that's the name of... The priestess. Yeah. My father is an archaeologist. You know, I almost forgot. There's a girl up above and some crazy character who calls himself... Demetrius with, with murder in his heart. He will not find her. She will not be harmed. It is so. How do you know? Just because you have the same name doesn't mean you can read the future. It is so. Just as your coming here was ordained by Apollo. Ah, come on. You can't take this stuff seriously. You see the wall? There. What do you see? Oh. Somebody chiseled a couple of birds, big ones. Eagles. They belong to Zeus. It was Zeus who set them free from opposite ends of the world, and it was here in Delphi where they met. And that made it the middle of the world? Come on, now, I've got to get out of here. You may ascend. There is a passage that leads to the temple. Yeah, well, I'm worried about Val. Show me the way out. First, I must tell you of a necklace. A what? It was formed by Apollo, and it blazed like the sun. And Apollo gave it to Pythia as a reward for her faithful service. Good for her. Now, may I... You will listen, Mr. Turner. For your fate has also been ordained. But I only... Pythia want... wore it proudly for 1,200 years. And then it was stolen. Apollo was angry with Pythia, and he caused the earth to tremble. And even his temple here above us fell into pieces. And then the tree that Pythia would find no rest until the necklace had been returned to her. Do you understand, Mr. Turner? Look, I don't know what this all has to do with me. The priestess is a restless spirit, condemned to roam through time. It brings her only sadness and a longing for the days when the gods walk together with people. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for her. That's too bad. You should not tempt an angry god. Well, I'll take my chances. Hey, the ground shaking. The god. The... Oh, come on. You're crazy. It's an earthquake. The necklace. Or the anger of the god will increase. You're out of your mind. Demetrius, you're working with me. They may be changed. The gods speak through me, Mr. Turner. I want out. Come on, before both of us get killed. Hear me. Do not ascend. For the gods' vengeance awaits you. The slopes of Mount Parnassus are sacred. And the possession of the necklace is a death warrant. It is here, in the place of the oracle, that there is safety. The boulders that fall are as feathers. Give me peace, Mr. Turner. I have waited all these millennia. Looks like I'm going to get killed. I wanted to be in the open, not down here like a rat. Hey, here's a light one on. I see ya. Don't play games, huh? This place is falling apart. Now, you come with me. I see ya. Where are you? Look, I can't stay here. Yes, that's it. Come in, come in. Uh, sir? You know who I am? You remember me? Oh, yes, sir. Colonel Poulos of the Atoms Police. Mm. You are named George? Yes. I drive bus. Also, I am the guy. I am looking for one of the Americans. A Mr. Turner. Do you know him? Uh, I have done nothing. Not you, George. An American. Listen. 
I arrived two hours ago, and the people here say that they saw Mr. Turner, but then he went out and he has not returned. I swear, sir, I do not... There is also a young lady, an American like Mr. Turner. Ah. You have seen him? Where? Did they sit in bus? Next to each other. Ah. She has light hair, and on the bus she had the green dress. They come to wash, both. What? But we do not wash. Lady be sick, then better. Good. Then they go walk. Then I drive, but I see car, white car. So stop bus, but car is empty. Good car. Demetrius, it's his car. Then it's far away. Boom, boom. Shots? You heard shots? Yeah, boom, boom. Tell me where you found the car. Exactly where. I've got to get there immediately. <laughs> Are you there? It's me. Oh, yes. Who scared you? He, he was shooting. Oh, I've never been so scared in my life. Okay, okay. And, and you, where did you disappear? All right, never mind. Where's Demetrius now? Oh, out there somewhere looking for you. Oh, Skip, couldn't we go down now if we're quiet? All right, we'll give it a try. No talking. Hold on to my hand. Yes. Okay. We'll kind of cross the floor to the temple. That will not be necessary. Run, run. That would be inadvisable. There is sufficient moonlight for me to see most clearly. Okay. Okay, I know when the strings run out. I'll make you a deal, Demetrius. I am holding the pistol, Mr. Turner. There is no need for me to bargain. Let the girl go. Perhaps. What does that mean? The necklace, or she will die first. Okay, you win, Demetrius. One what? final time oh. I call to thee. And I said, Lord, it's time. Who's that? Who's your call? What's up? That's my dear. She's crazy. Thinks she's the original oracle or something. In the legend, there were eagles. It's time, Apollo. So then you're this pleasure. No. That is your switch. All right. Okay, I've got a gun don't hand. Go Run, Val. Oh, oh, Run. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, the gun is still mine. The necklace, throw it here. I shall only wait a moment. All right, catch it. The bird! It's diving! I don't believe it. The bird caught the necklace and is bringing it to my bear. Oh, impossible. This cannot be. A spider! Demetrius almost had the necklace. 
But an eagle plucked it out of the air. Brought it to her. An eagle? Yes. Miss Parker. What's the use? I, I knew you'd act this way. But an eagle. But wait. Wait, I, I, I remember something. Something Skip said. He... Oh, I think he told me her name. Ah, the name. What was it? Oh, uh... Something like that. Pythia could be Pythia. That's it. Pythia. And and when she put on the necklace, she began to age. Of course. Oh, don't humor me. I know what... I almost forgot. I took some pictures. Ah. Then we will see how real your story is after they are developed, if you have it on film. Oh, I, I took them with my instant developing camera. But the one of Pythia didn't come out. Ah. Uh-huh. We had better go. One thing is certain. There was an earthquake, and the crevasse was opened here. Could there be a chance? If they fell into it, none. Miss Parker, your story, you must admit it is difficult to believe. You say it was an eagle? Oh, yes, there was no doubt about it. I've seen eagles before. Eagles have not been seen here in hundreds of years. Oh, somehow I botched the shot of the woman, but will you take a, a look at this one? Holy mother. I, I don't believe it is an eagle. And look in its talons. The necklace. Skeptics listening, here is a dispatch from the Greek National News Service. A mild tremor was reported in the area of Corinth and Delphi, which registered four on the Richter scale. At Delphi, two men lost their lives when they fell into a large rift in the earth. The quake revealed a hitherto unknown underground chamber, which is believed to be the legendary chamber of the oracle of mythology. I'll be back shortly. What life comes down to is a perpetual contest between good and evil. Mark Twain warned that if you are good, you'll be mighty lonesome. It would seem that not too many of us are content to be lonely. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.